Perhaps what the jury found most powerful about the Oslo Opera House was the fact that it's a building that puts its public function first and foremost. It's, it's this amazing accessible urban topography that it creates um, seems to be primary in the architect's mind and comes second to uh, the internal functions of the building itself, wonderful as those are. We appreciated how respectful uh, and trusting the, the architects were of the public space's users, the fact that they um, allow them to explore the terrain on their own terms and negotiate paths um, wherever they see fit without the proliferation of uh, kind of condescending railings that one would normally see in a building of this scale. We thought that the building was exceptional in creating a, a new pole within the city, completely redefining this area of the harbor for Oslo. And it's, uh, was striking in its powerful relationship to the rest of the urban fabric, um, the way it's, it touches the harbor, uh, goes directly down to the water, and the views it gives out over the harbor and then back over the city and the hills behind it. Uh, the use of materials is also exceptional. Uh, the, this is a building that has bu been built to last hundreds of years. I think it's a, it's a building in the tradition of FOAs, Yokohama, in that it it creates its own urban landscape, it creates its own um, internal system of circulation and it does so incredibly effectively and um, the progression from space to space we thought was very powerful um, and the way it becomes, becomes a piece of architectural landscape itself.